Okay, uh, we're just going to do a few startup uh, procedures here with the Huey and the OH6 uh, for somebody who was kind of asking questions online. Um, I'll start this off by saying I am by far no military pilot, so uh, this is just the startup procedures I've learned over playing DCS with the Huey and recently the OH6, and this is what works for me. So uh, what I usually do, um, all the keys minus what's on the collective and the stick, um, I, I typically tend to manipulate in cockpit because uh, I only fly in VR, uh, so I'm only using the mouse really to, to do everything uh, minus what's hands-on uh, in-game, really, just with the collective and the cyclics. So uh, I really won't go through the key binds. If anybody's interested, I, I can list them out, but it's essentially what you would really find on the collective or the stick uh, is, is what I'm binding to it, so it makes it easier. Um, so to, uh, for, for the gentleman that was asking, uh, said he was a bit rusty. Um, I'm not sure if it was on just the OH6 or the UH1. So we'll, uh, we'll get kicked off here with, uh, firing up the main generator, uh, turning on your battery, silence the alarm there, get your fuel flow turned on, get your force trim on up here, hydraulics on, and then, uh, I have the starter bound to the uh, throttle. Um, one thing you're going to want to do is crank your, your throttle all the way up and then back down. I'm sorry, I have the starter bound to the collective, so we're going to hold it down, hold the starter down. You're going to wait for it to hit 40% here. Um, she'll catch here in a minute. Uh, it's real important if you don't increase the throttle all the way and bring it back down, uh, she won't tend to catch. So. Uh, right now, just wait on her to crank up to 40. All right, we're at 40%. We're good to go. I typically wait for it to stabilize. And once she stabilizes, she's about right there. I have the throttle bound. We'll go ahead and bring the throttle all the way up. Let her crank all the way. Now, uh, looking at your caution light here, uh, you've got your IFF you can turn on and then up here. We're going to want to turn on our standby generator or inverted uh, main. And I believe the AC bus goes to AC phase. It may stay on AC. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, you can see you still have the master caution on. You'll just reset that. And then back up here, you get your radar altimeter. And you turn that on. And look a little closer here this is going to be your high altitude which is subjective just whatever you want to set it at we'll put it at 150 and then we'll bring the low altitude indicator up to about 20 feet uh, at this point you're you're good to go um, just about i'll go ahead and uh, turn your uhf on uh, if you want to turn your So UHF is on, you can turn your FM on if you want and all that, but uh, if you're flying with anybody online, just make sure you're uh, using your radio dial here to channel 1, 2, 3, or 4. Uh, it's going to differ if you're using SRS. If you're using the DCS comms, you're going to want to bring up that overlay to see which radio belongs to which channel here on the uh, dial. Uh, so at this point, we're good to go. Um, I used to fly with the throttle, now I'm flying with the AH-64 Vocal Collective, um, which I, I can't brag about enough. So uh, we'll just do a quick takeoff here. Uh, again, this, this the hog's not as difficult to take off as the OH-6, it's a little heavier. Um, I've always found taking off easier is just easing to the collective, get it a little bit of left rudder. As she starts to turn, you're going to get just a hair on the uh, hair back on the stick. You start to see her turn. Just keep easing into that, that collective to lift off. And we're good to go. I'm at a stable hover. Just give a little bit of left rudder here. A little bit of stick. Get her off the deck. And then as you start to accelerate, pull up on the collective. Starting to get a little bit of speed here. Start coming off the uh, rudder pedals. 
off the collective a little, and now we are good to go. Um, we can do landing tutorials and all that later. I don't want to draw this video out too long. Uh, the Huey is definitely a little easier to turn uh, with the rudder pedals. You can see I'm using just a little bit of rudder. Uh, you'll find with the OH6, uh, I'm not using the rudder like I do with the Huey to fly. Um, the OH6 is a lot touchier with the uh, rudder pedal. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and jump into the Cayuse here on the deck down there. And I'll be right back. Okay, now we're in the Cayuse. Uh, I have these uh, overlays bound, so we'll shut those down. Uh, Cayuse is a little easier to take off in, or actually not take off in, but start up. Uh, so we'll just get right into it. Um, before I crank it up, I have the starter and the idle, throttle idle bound to the collective as well as the throttle itself. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and turn the battery on, fuel cut off, and then we're going to hold the starter in, cut the throttle idle on or off, whatever. Then on this one, we're going to wait until she cranks up to 60% instead of 40. So we'll just monitor until uh, you're up to 60%. right here for speed. It's 
muscle. Slow the stick forward. Again, no, uh, no rudder, no, no need to use the rudders here, even at this speed. And minor adjustments on the collective, dropping it to, to stay low level. It's just using the stick to do your bank. And minor adjustments on the uh, collective to keep your altitude where you want it, whether you want low or high. Again, this is a lot easier in VR. Um, don't fly with uh, a track IR, so um, it, it may be a little more difficult. I know it was for me when I was flying with the screen way back in the day, but when I went to VR, I'll, I'll never go anywhere else after this with my bags. Uh, situational awareness is a big part of that. Like, coming in for a landing, you've got full, full authority here. Depth perception is a lot better. Um, so yeah. But yeah, I hope this helps you out uh, a little bit getting started at least uh, taking off and just getting a feel for the bird. Um, like I said, I used to use the throttle. Uh, it, it was just as easy to forward uh, was increase altitude, you pull back on the throttle was the increase. Uh, I did that for years until about the past two weeks. Uh, since I've had this collective, and I'll be honest, I'm not going to be able to go back to the fall now. So I hope this helped. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing uh, videos hopefully from you uh, the community soon. Uh, I'm enjoying this, this free market.